Another Queensland mine is closing down. Glencore says its coking coal facility at Bowen in the state's north is no longer competitive. The mining slump has contributed to a $3 billion write-down in state revenue, but that hasn't put the brakes on government spending. The Deputy Premier today announced funding for two new trade offices in Asia. Making the descent back into Brisbane, the Premier returned from her trade mission to the United States with her focus back on domestic affairs. Big week and budget next week. Tuesday's budget will include money to set up two new trade offices, one in Singapore and another in China, Queensland's biggest trading partner. An increase in trade and increase in exports means an increase in jobs, particularly in regional Queensland. This is where the investment opportunities, agribusiness, uh, tourism, this is very much uh, core business for us going forward. It'll cost one and a half million dollars, money the government's found, despite a three billion dollar blow to the budget due to a drop in mining royalties and tax revenue. We can't afford not to do this. Ministers are playing down the prospect of any spending cuts to their portfolios. Our government has made it very clear that education is one of our number one priorities. There'll still be a strong investment in our road network. It was safety first for the roads minister as he announced stricter rules for motorbike licensing. For the first time, we'll see a, a mandatory practical driving test. 12 hours of training could add hundreds of dollars to the cost. But really, it's an investment in their own safety. Some 22% of the road toll is attributed to motorcycle fatalities, and that is just far too high. The changes will roll out from October. Jessica Van Vonderen, ABC News.